Welcome to the show once again. This is the show whereby we tackle issues like nowhere else. It is a show whereby you give us your opinions and we air them out as, you know, as raw as they are. And lately, everybody has been asking about insecurity in the country. Insecurity is such a big thing right now. Um, people are dying left, right, and center. I mean, basically, the country is in a mess as far as insecurity is concerned. And um, today, we are joined by none other than um, Inspector Kip Rono, who is here to shed light on this particular issue, you know, lay our fears to rest. Welcome, Mr. Kiprono. Well, uh, oh, well uh, thank you. Uh, yes, welcome. So I'm, now, uh, I'm the speaker of the national police. Uh, right. Speaker. Uh, yes, I, I yes. already said that. So, yes. um, Mr. Kiprono, let me just put it out there. Insecurity. Yes. What is going on? Actually, it is a fabrication of the media. The police are maintaining security as per the Constitution. And let me say that you people are saying that the police are having what we call extrajudicial killings. I want to state here categorically that no member of the judiciary has been killed by the police. Okay? Oh, all right. Do you have any member of the judiciary who is killed by the police? Uh, well, uh, so but this thing of extrajudicial killings, I don't know what that... Uh, there is no charge well, who has been that, killed. That, that, that is not really the issue. Uh, you know, the extrajudicial killings are there. But, you know, we're, we're talking about insecurity. People are dying. You know, people are, are complaining about, you know, um, all forms of insecurity, basically. Even I know there is that one of food security. Yes. <laughs> and I'm going to categorically say that the police are prepared for this food security thing. I am saying that if you know our Are warehouse, you saying that the, the food insecurity is under your docket? Yes, we have a target uh, that we say if your food yes. is not secure, mm -hmm. you, can, you go to a hotel and your food is not secure. Yes. You just call the police, mm -hmm. then we send two officers there okay. who will guard your food and okay. it will be secure. And okay. this issue of food security mm. will never be in this so, country. So uh, this is how the police is going to tackle the issue of food insecurity in, in the country. Yes, uh, and also the starting of uh, you people of the media have been saying that uh, uh, people, for people not to have AIDS, HIV, yes. this one that kills people to death, they die to death. Yes. Uh, you have to have a, a it's called a protected sex, yes. protected uh, sex, you, you where you protect yourself when you're having intercourse. Yes. So we are yes. saying if you are a member of the public and right. you are going to have intercourse, yes. you must go to the police station, mm -hmm. you get two officers mm. who will stand uh, outside the door where you are having intercourse, yes. just that they protect you. So, so, you are not getting so the there. police is actually taking this unprotected sex uh, really Yeah, we are serious. going to protect everyone. All right. Yes. All right. Yes. Uh, 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 from what you're saying, I, I feel like the police is uh, not really accountable for what is happening. No, 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 no. There, actually. There's, there's, there's a lot of miscalculations everywhere. No, you see, yes. the policeman, every mm. policeman is accountable. Mm. And that is why when you join the police force, yes. one of the things you are told to do mm -hmm. is to have a bank account. Mm -hmm. That is where your salary is sent. Okay. So you are accountable. Or, okay. So there is okay. nothing. They even you you are accountable. And well, I am accountable. I, I, I Everyone think, is accountable. I, I don't think that that is the issue, um, uh, Inspector. But anyway, uh, moving on swiftly. Any last words? Because I'm, I'm sure everybody is, is really waiting for you know something concrete that you can give the country uh, to make them feel safe. Uh, what I can tell the country yes. is that uh, they should know there is a difference between a, a, a gangster being shot to death mm -hmm. and the coincidence. Okay. No coincidence. Uh, two two uh, you know, events occurring at, at the same time. Yes. yes. Now, yes. if uh, a, a bullet is coming out of a gun All right. at a particular time. Su su such as this gun. Yes, it, uh, maybe 12.45, the bullet is coming out. All right. And then at the same time, a gangster is walking in the car where the bullet also intends the, to follow. The trajectory of the bullet. Yes. yes. So if they are in the same vector, mm -hmm. you know vector, yes. 90 degrees, they'll meet at the obtuse angle. That is coincidence. Okay. That is not the extrajudicial helix, okay? All right. So I want to put the beer to rest. Yes. Um, all, all right. Um, thank you very much, uh, Inspector. Clearly... I, this matter is quite heavy. We're talking about bullets. We're talking about trajectory. We're talking about unprotected sex. We're talking about extra judicial killings. I'm telling you, this is 
a story that we'll not leave to rest just like that. We'll be um, uh, revisiting it uh, maybe in the next episode. I was thank you very much. You've been watching the show at this time. Welcome and see you again. Thank you very much, Inspector. That was a very <laughs> useless I, I forgot something. <laughs> explanation. But uh, anyway, thank, thank you for making forgot, it to the show. Yes. I, I think they will, they will we, we, we are done. But, but oh. you, you could say something. We are recording. Me, I'm not done. Okay. I am Gibroni.